So what are some of those steps that, that let's say me first day came in, D- Denny, I'm here asking for help. Some of that listening um, that we really need to do when we see another human being be across from us to where we can really gauge and find stage appropriate assistance for their person. Where are they at in their recovery? Are they um, pre-contemplative? Are they, are they thinking that, you know, um, maybe that stuff will work for other people, but not for me? Are they, are they contemplative? Are they saying that, hey, you know what, maybe there is, you know, some, some help for me and this person might have it. So we kind of got it really gauged and fill people out and be there for them um, along the, the stages of change that they go through. And if you encounter somebody like myself who was at the end of their rope or who was totally committed at the time, life is kind of easy. But our purpose, number one, is to not so much expose people to what's worked for us, but to expose people to the multiple pathways of recovery, the, the, whether it be the steps, um, certain fellowships, um, certain groups, um, and even, you know, everything from faith-based all the way down to nature-based and let them handpick and choose what will help them depending upon where they are in their, in their recovery. And when I say in their recovery, are they totally abstinent? Are they, you know, is that one of the primary goals um, are, you know, is there's, there's some harm reduction going on to where they're not putting a needle or straw in their, in their body, but they're, you know, experimenting with, um, with, with marijuana or CBD, you know, whatever the case may be, when, when you hear that phrase, meet them where they're at, it, it it's so broad of a stroke mm-hmm. and it doesn't necessarily have to deal with attitude. It has to deal with their mental capacity, their physical capacity, their spiritual and emotional abilities or or capacity at the time. And again, it's really hard to say that this is A, B, C, uh, D uh, key, but the very first thing that everyone needs to do when they do encounter people who want to make change in their life is to just simply be there with them during that change. And that doesn't always necessarily mean giving advice, suggestions, or even offering what may have worked for you or what you know has worked for countless other people. Most of the folks that I experience these days, Jason, um, they're in a hole and they've created such a um, sense of darkness around them that alone is all they wanted for a long time. Alone is what they've gotten and alone is the last thing that they want. This is the Knocking Doors Down podcast, featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma, to live purposeful lives. And that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.